Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. In the last episode, oh, bong. There we go. In the last episode, we uh, well, entered the world of Ori and the blind forest that is accompanied by him, I guess. And now, after just <laughs> discovering that this is in fact a Metroidvania, which I do not mind at all. Oh. Yeah, we have some place to go, but we can go here too. So I'm assuming. Ah, man, am I going to want to harvest in this game or not? I don't you know how to 100% it. Oh dear. The thing with Metroidvanians is there's always a lot extra stuff to do. Spirit Wells. Sounds like a fairy found. Oh, I see. It's a nice save point you can always use. I like that. It wasn't like I can get up here. Ori is not terribly well versed in the ways of running up walls, it looks like. A little bit. I jumped up it earlier. I jumped into the wall and then climbed up a little bit. I don't know how I did that earlier. Well, no much use in trying, it looks like. I'm guessing that's an ability that I get later. In that case, on we go. No need to waste time. Hey, I thought I got rid of you earlier. Man, my only complaint right now is everything's so small, it's kind of hard to tell where projectiles are going to end up. Is there anything over here? Ooh. Just a little experience back in, basically. Cool. Well, can't I always create one here? Oh, wait, no, I can see if I get a X here. Never mind. Creating a soul link, on the other hand. Game saved. And then. Okay. So, we have three different abilities we can choose from, it looks like. And we have things we can build up to. Let's start with the small things. Think. Magnet. Shooting flames, that seems very helpful. So you have offensive, some kind of utility, and defensive, I'm guessing? Oh, or passive effect. You're using soul links and shorn as a cooldown timer, that seems nice. Uh, until I know I kind of need to defend myself better, I think I should probably work this out. So let's do that. What comes after this? Oh, and that's also a thing I want a lot. I feel, have a feeling I'm going to want all of these abilities a lot. Oh, come on. Go up there, Ori. I know you can. There we go. Well, we'll see how it goes out. How it works. So, I guess I'll have to ask you guys if you want me to 100% this or not, because I did not know. Like I said, this is blind game site. So blind playthrough, so I wasn't entirely sure what I was getting into. Can I go up there easily? Yeah, I can. Can I go up there easily is the me question. It doesn't look like it. Uh, so, uh, like I said, I didn't know this was a Metroid game yet. And I didn't know there'd be so much stuff 100%. Actually, in fact, the matter of 100% the game hadn't even crossed my mind. So I guess I'll leave it up to you guys to offer your opinions right now on whether you want me to think about doing that or not. Uh, ultimately, of course, it's up to me, but I do love to take my audience into consideration. Ori seems more active than she ever was, even back when she was with her old friend. A key. We need certain quantities of keys to get through places, alright. And I could jump through here, I'd imagine. Whoops. Oh dear, Ori. No, thank you. Alright, there we go. In that case... Huh? Was that a door that I needed a key for? I already did that. Man, I'm already wishing I had that, uh... 
healing ability. Oh, I need... Do I need two? I do. I wish I... I'm already wish I had that uh, healing ability. And... <laughs> or I can vault things. It's kind of cool. Oh, I was wondering if I could do this. I noticed this rock here. I wasn't sure if I could actually do anything with it or not. So I'd go ahead anyway for some reason. I'm not going to attack through walls, it looks like. That's another key. Cool. That looks like it had two keys in it, actually. And because experience is a thing in this game, it's hard to kind of think if I... Oh, see it! So pro should probably try not to die. It's going to take some practice learning how to actually avoid enemies' attacks, it looks like. Which is unfortunate, but that's all part of playing a game. Go! There we go. I have a feeling Ori is going to be learning a lot about moving around this forest. Well, by the time we're through with this game. Hmm. Yay. Rekindled. Sounds like somehow death, death souls, or dark souls. Man, I want that thing. Destroying a life cell. So where was I needed to be? I need to be. I need to find a spirit tree. Which way might I go for that? Looks like I can go either way. Well, whoa! Really can zoom out, can I? And this place looks pretty vast. I'm curious how long this seems going to be. I was wondering that earlier, actually. Set my objective, of course. Legend. Nothing's really on here yet. Well. Alright. Huh. Let's cut this decision. I have quite the range in my attacks, don't I? Whoops. Thankfully, I just saved. I have quite the range in my attacks, don't I? Looks like I can meet it, too. Whoa. So this game, if this game has a double jump, I cannot wait until I get it, because it feels so unnatural to a platform without a double jump. I'm just so used to it. Man, I'm not used to only having one. Hit point. Whoa! Ah, okay, it's hit box is larger than I thought it was. Learning experiences! And he can maneuver in midair in ways that I was unfamiliar with previously. I am older and wiser. With newfound vigor. I don't know if this is a sign I should be going a different way or not. But what are you? What would an individual want to do about that? I have a guess that, that I, whatever it is, can't do it yet. Well, if that's the case, yeah, lots of locked abilities and spirit flame. All right, I have a guess that that's what that is. I saw it was on here, energy gate. I think that was something like that. I guess I get an ability to pass through that later. That's just kind of how uh, Metroidvanias work. Oh, come on, I was trying to save right then. Convenient. I'm kind of paying attention. I'm guessing you're. Uh, I'm guessing your uh, experience does not hold through deaths. There we go. That was what I was trying to do earlier. I don't know why it didn't happen. There we go. So it's something I'm going to be wanting to save often because... And this game gives you the ability to save pretty often. To form your own checkpoints. Unless so I'm going to be needing that too. Which I'm okay with. I've always been talking about how I want some kind of challenge in my games actually. On this channel. 
Or at least I have been single of myself. Oops. Without, uh, really doing much about it. So, I guess this game is exactly what I've been looking for, isn't it? And something new, and it's a Metroidvania, which I've never played before. Experience. Thank you! Oh, well that happened. Man, you're making your arm go down lower. Well, it healed me too. Nice. Alright, just let me have my experience. And get out of here. There. And if I could, please. I mean, I want to restore. I want to get this. That seems like something I'm really gonna need. And everything else I'm gonna want is gonna be even nicer, isn't it? But things flowing to me. I'm gonna want this too. I'm gonna get this for now, and then after that, I should definitely jump to. Uh, definitely, gonna want to jump to Quick Flame. So I have a little bit more offensive power because that's something that. It's definitely looking like, I'm, looking like I'm kind of lacking right now. So it's something I need keys to get through. So I'm just confused right now as to whether I should be going one way or another. Oh, it looks like that actually loops around if I go up there. Looks like it might be worth checking out then. Of course the vast forest is going to have plenty to explore. Whoop. No shame in running when you need to. Ah, come on, I was running as fast as I could there, too. But now... Oh, oops, I don't exactly have a lot of energy right now, do I? But now... Yeah. That heals me. Uh... Oh, I was actually thinking I could go right here, which I forgot I couldn't. It looks like there's something over here too, but I don't know how, that's not like I can get to it right now, so onwards we go. Yeah, I think this is going to be a long game. I have two long let's plays going on right now, it looks like, too. Of course, how long is up for you guys to decide, like I mentioned earlier. If you want your 100% it, that's up to you, and we'll take that into account. I have a feeling I'm not going to mind 100%ing it, though, if I ever decide to do so. Hello. Ah, perfect. That's something I'm want to, going to be able to want, going to want to be able to find the, as many of as I can. Doesn't like I can go up up from here either. Just straight up. Nope. All right. Can I drop through these? I can. All right, in that case. Then uh, let's go onwards. a soul that we can actually because I'm still kind of uh, less than confident about oh I can break this about my own whoops ah I'll be able to hear it. you can see exactly why too and let's make use of that there you go I just love being able to heal myself with that even though I have another healing thing right here I guess I'm not going to be so plentiful later in the game, though. So, might as well be prepared. Spiky things. You're not welcome here. You're not a native member of our society. I guess the forest is not open to immigrants. What are you? There's something blue down there. And, oh, this is actually closed. Let's go, then. I thought it was kind of suspicious that the whole thing was explored before I went through it. Forest of Nibel. And then we'll have the map filled out, I'm guessing. Or something like that. Maybe it'll be like a compass. I don't have it. Or do I? No, I don't. Alright then. I'm wondering if it'll be like Compass in Legend of Zelda or something like that. So, 
always be working on my own fighting abilities for the night. Oh, come on. And platforming. There we go. And does it take less energy to uh, rekindle soul links? It didn't look like that took any energy at all, actually, if any, or if much. So you're not just saving once, you're creating a save point, too. Which also seems nice. Onwards into the forest we go! Hi. You seem friendly. Come on. Alright. Can I actually get up from here? I have a feeling I'm gonna have to drop down and then... There we go. Get back up with a new ability. Metroidvania seems to like doing that. Well, under the assumption that I can get back out, let's go. Because, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna climb up that up. Climb up to drop that steep. This not yet. I mean, I can't kick off a wall. I want to get hit. That stuff up there. No, you're not gonna hit me like that. Go away. Ow. I'd heal anyways. Pump through the sword. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Alright, I did say I sh would need it, and plus the next uh, ability actually requires you to have Charge Flame anyways. And there are these. Oh! Oh, I don't even have that yet! <laughs> I'm, I just kind of assumed it would be there, because the legend said it would be there, but I don't have that yet. Oh, that's also nice. I'm loving all these abilities. Makes it so hard to decide. I don't really care much for that, but I want the other stuff first. Um, I should probably take this. Yeah. If only mastering things was that easy. So how exactly do I use that anyways? I actually kind of assumed this game would have more of a tutorial, so I didn't pay much attention to the controls when I saw them earlier. So it says I'm capable, but controls. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of the- oh, Spirit Flame. Next. Wait a minute. Game! I'm noobish. Assist me. Three, four. Oh, I shoot. I shoot more in a row before recharging. I can set one at a time. All right. Cool. Ooh, how big is this place? Hello, narrator. Wait a minute. Was that a bigger and older? Or is that a... Not seeing a lot of growth right now. Wait, I can just climb- okay, that's not something you usually get so early in the uh, game, from what I see. I can use more energy, awesome. In my own experience, or at least from what I've seen before, you don't usually get the ability to climb straight up walls that early, but I'll go with it. Cool. And in that case, it opens up a lot right now, doesn't it? Uh, you know, lots of things I can see right now that I can get to just by climbing straight up. I'm tempted to go back here. I'm... Oh, ah, whoops. I'm gonna want to 
Let's heal. That was kind of a waste, but oh well. And we're gonna want to go up there at some point anyways. If chances are, so I might as well do it now. We're all relatively close. Oh no, experience, please. Oh, come on, Ori. Now you can do it. Whoa! What was that? Wait a minute. I did a spin. I don't know why. Not that, not a flip either, I did an actual spin. Uh, ow. Yeah, I can see this is doing me a lot of good though. Actually having uh, more attacks at once. Come on, Ori. Come on! There we go. It's kind of weird though. You don't just climb up a wall, you actually have to like keep pressing the jump button up against the wall. And you actually do bounce away from the wall every time you do it, so it's kind of hard to like, get the hang of. Movement! Comes a little bit more naturally to Ori than it does to me, it looks like. Well, this is... Some surfaces seem slip more slippery than others or something. It's kind of weird. What? Ow. No, thank you. So, I see... It looks like we might be able to go up there soon. Oh, hi. Well, am I going to want to be here with that? Like I said, I mean... I can theoretically go to the right right now, can't I? Huh. I mean, it can only pay off, can it? Can't hurt. Where we go! Spirit of Adventure! Don't do things because you have to, do it because you want to. Goodbye, baddie. Plus, that means we'll be even more well equipped for our. various forest related activities later on too. Oh, do I I only have one of these, don't I? Yeah, alright. In that case, I like how it gives your uh, keys back too after you try to unlock the gate. Whoa! Hi. Oh, the colors. It's really nice. These identify where you are too. By those colors alone. I know I can't go up there because there's a wall. It's just yet to be identified on my map because I haven't upgraded that yet, but. I believe. I don't quite recall where it is. Uh, I don't think I can go straight up. I don't think I can go straight up here because I can't. There's an overhang for one. I can't reach the uh, ceiling. Or I can't reach the wall. It's too high. I can jump to it. Uh, crap. That was actually kind of the assumption I was making right here, too. That I would actually be able to hit that wall. Down here, though, I know I can go up. Whoa. Getting better. In which case... They say we go onwards regardless. Yeah, I definitely can't get up to the top of this tree yet. Unless I can get up on the other side. Wait a minute. Well, no, it looks like I can jump up to, uh... I could jump up to that log, then maybe I can get onto it, but apparently not. Alright. Ah! Practice, practice. Oh, I like jumping on things. Now that we're here, what's this? Oh, okay, I'll take it. I can't actually act. Okay. So, I do want to make things put, show up on the map. It's going to help a lot in a game like this one. As nice as being stronger would be. So, let's work on that first. 
And I don't think there's any other place we want to go while we're down here, is there? I don't think so. In which case, we'll just go left, it looks like. Oh, come on, or you can make that jump. Go up there! There we go. I'm gonna have to end off the episode really soon, it looks like, too, which makes me sad because I want to keep playing the game. But at the same time, I don't want to burn myself out on it, I guess. I, I am somewhat concerned about it, about uh, playing this game on my usual recording schedule because I need to be so weak between playing the game. And a game like this seems like one that you need to kind of stay in the groove of. But I'll see how it works out. And if I really have to, I can make other arrangements somehow, I'm sure. But we've, we've pretty much hit our time limit for this episode. So I'll get off to oops, where we were earlier before we started back there. So we can have a fresh start next episode and be in new territory. Uh, oh, we can go left here too. Oh, no, we can't. Oops. I'm guessing that pick that does nothing for us. Man, we got a lot of extra to get by him too. This guy stuff stuff up far away. I'm noticing, man, these abilities that we get, they change a lot. The top of the game. They're big things, not just little things that happen to be minor conveniences. Now have big effects on gameplay. So I'm guessing. If I don't if I either don't get enough experience uh, throughout the game, or if I don't choose wisely, choose wisely that is, ow, I'm gonna have to pay for it. But, this is where we were earlier, and it looks just as unpleasant as it did before. Let's cower, I remain here, with our game saved. And with that, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. I had a fun time playing this for the first time. And I look forward quite a bit to playing it later, too. Actually, it'll just be a couple days until I play it next because of schedule things. Hooray! But my controller is vibrating violently. I think it needs a rest. Because <laughs> all the things are rumbling on screen. So I'll be seeing you guys next time in the next episode of Let's Play Ori in the Blind Forest. I'm excited and I look forward to it. I hope you guys look forward to it as not half as much as I do because that's still quite a bit. See you guys.